This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. How to compress WordPress image. So perhaps you have a WordPress website and you have some images. Let's say you have this picture of an apple that you want to upload to your WordPress site. Now, maybe your images are big and you want to compress them. Okay, so to compress them, you can go to some website such as tinyjpg.com. All right, and then you can drag in your image and it'll help you compress the image. You can cl click download. So when you click download, now you have this Apple JPG that's been downloaded. And now you can go into your uh, you can go into your finder and go into downloads. This is the picture of the Apple we downloaded. Uh, yeah, so this is that picture of the Apple we downloaded. I'm gonna rename it just to differentiate from from the Apple on the top right. So I'm gonna call it Tiny JPG Apple. So then I'm gonna drag it out. So this Apple is the original picture of the Apple and the top one is the compressed image. So if you select both of them and you get their information, you'll see that indeed the Tiny JPG Apple Im has been compressed, right? So this is the original Apple image. You'll notice that the size is 94 kilobytes, whereas the tiny JPG Apple, uh, the compressed image is 52 uh, and 53 kilobytes. So effectively you've saved some space. So if you have multiple of the these JPG images, you can just drag them all into tinyjpg.com in this dotted line zone. And then when you're done, you can click the download all button. Now, there are a lot of these tools that help you compress images. So if in case, say tiny JPG, the website goes down, you can search for the other tools by just searching compress image. Now I'm using DuckDuckGo. You can use, you can clearly use Google. Um, so see, here's a website. It says compress JPG images online. And this is another one. You can compress images. So there are a lot of these websites that'll help you compress JPG images or just images in general. Now this one is the same as tiny JP, tiny JPG, except it's called tiny PNG images. And so if you have PNG images, you can use this tinypng.com. And the difference between PNG and JPG images is that PNGs can have transparent background. If you have a JPG image, uh, such as the ones we have here, they can't have a transparent background. So, yeah. Anyway, so there are a lot of these tools just by doing a simple search of compressed image. Tiny JPG is just one of them. All right, so that's how you compress WordPress images before uploading to your website. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please subscribe. And if you need extra help, visit askquesty.com and send us your questions.